Okay, guys, next problem that I found in my Ryobi 1800 generator. And uh, this is small but very dangerous problem with uh, fuel system. And um, I'm gonna show you closer now. Problem is here. This black fuel pipe connecting uh, plastic uh, gas tank and uh, this metal fitting behind the control knob and this pipe touches plastic um, recoil starter housing here now I fixed it already but in your situation this fuel pipe goes much more to the left like this touches starter and goes up to the tank Check for your pipe, like, like this, using finger, or uh, check for gap here. If there is no gap between starter and pipe, you will have problem soon, because this pipe wears out very fast. And now I would like to show you how this pipe looks like and how to remove it. First, we should remove this cover, three bolts here. T15 screwdriver here and the T15 or T20 bolt here inside of this handle. Our pipe has two clamps here and here. So first we have to remove this clamp. It's not easy to pull. It's not easy to pull this pipe down, so it's better to use pliers and uh, turn this pipe carefully around fitting a couple of times. Okay, now good. Try again. Uh, and uh, of course make sure that your tank is empty oops and now we can remove this clamp this lower clamp on this pipe or for me I think it will be better to remove this clamp and this straight pipe going to red fuel filter. So I would like to remove this first and then we can pull out all this mechanism to remove this clamp and pipe. This pipe is going to fuel filter. We removed it. Now remove these bolts, three bolts, T10 screwdriver. Now we have to disconnect this wire. There is like plastic lock. Push it down and disconnect this connector. And now we can carefully pull all this mechanism outside. Here is our pipe and clamp we have to remove. Look at this pipe. to show you better problem is here this is pipe wall and here this wall is worn out I think more than 50 percent 
And uh, this is after four, maybe five hundred hours of running. It means that after seven, eight hundred hours, it will cause a horrible problem. Because gasoline drips slowly, evaporates inside of the closed room near hot engine. And soon it will lead to dangerous explosion and fire. We need to fix it as soon as possible. Original pipe is much longer here and here as well. So first we have to cut out some tube here. And uh, uh, this will move pipe far from the plastic recoil starter. And uh, I cut here more than a quarter of an inch. We should put this fitting into the pipe you know, like uh, as deep as possible. And my fitting goes inside of the pipe practically to, the, to this corner. And also we have to cut out some pipe on another side as well. Because uh, now this pipe is very long. And um, um, how to say it? I'm gonna show you here. For example, our pipe is connecting like this now. We cut out some pipe here and move this end. But pipe is too long. And this side of the pipe, now it looks like loop. And anyway, not enough gap here. So we have to cut out some pipe on this side. And uh, it will look like this. I cut out here more than a quarter of an inch. Maybe 7, 8, maybe 10 millimeters. And now we can mount everything, or all pipes and bolts, back on generator. How to do it? First, put this pipe in the fitting. Connect pipe going to fill filter here. Then mount our pipe on the gas tank. and connect these wires. And now we have to close this cover and put these three bolts and handle back over here. I found one more video on YouTube about this problem. The man uh, helps some lady to replace um, broken starting rope. I have video on my channel about this problem as well. And uh, this man found the same problem on the tube. And uh, that tube uh, worn out much more than mine. And um, after publishing this video, I decided to send this link to Ryobi support because it's it's a very horrible situation and uh, they have to fix it as soon as possible. Thanks guys.